Stop scrolling for a second. Let me ask you something. You use your Samsung Galaxy every single day for calls, social media, photos, videos, and work. But what if I told you that your phone is secretly way more powerful than you think? So features that save you time, replace multiple apps, make your phone feel smoother, smarter, and faster, and honestly, make other phones feel basic. So most Samsung users don't even know these features exist. So today I'm breaking down seven Samsung Galaxy features with real life scenarios so you can start using them immediately. Let's hit 300 likes on this video, share this with every Samsung user you know, and let's dive right into it. So feature number one is where you can share photos and videos instantly without Bluetooth. So imagine this, you're out with your friends, someone asks you, can you send me that video or photo? You turn on Bluetooth, they turn on Bluetooth, the connection fails. You try again, the video compresses, quality drops and everyone gets annoyed. Now imagine, instead, one tap, your friend appears instantly, the file sends at full quality in seconds. So that's quick share. So quick share lets you send photos, videos and files without pairing using Wi-Fi direct. So let me show you how you can use this. So here's an example. I can go ahead and select the photos I want to share, tap on share, and then go ahead and tap on quick share. So now if that person is a Samsung user, he or she will appear right here and I can go ahead and tap on them and go ahead and share the file. Now, if that person is an iPhone user or maybe another Android user, you can go ahead and tap on QR code or link. Now that person can basically scan this QR code and by scanning that, they'll be able to go into that link, which they've scanned, they'll be able to see the photos which I have shared with them. They can go ahead and tap on download and that will automatically download all the photos which I've shared. So as you can see, this works for Samsung users, Android users, and even iPhones. So no Bluetooth headaches, no quality loss, super fast transfer, and it works with multiple people. So once you use it, you'll just forget Bluetooth. Now feature number two is your multitasking with 90 to 10 split ratio. So you're watching tutorial on YouTube at the same time you need to reply to a message. Normally you switch apps and lose your place. But on Samsung, you keep YouTube running at 90% of the screen while messages sit neatly at bottom at 10%. No interruption, no restarting videos, and no wasted time. So Samsung advanced split screen lets one app stay dominant while the other runs quietly. So here's an example. I'll open up YouTube and I'll open up message. And I wanna go ahead and run both of these in split screen mode. So we'll tap on the recent. We'll tap on messages and we'll go ahead and open in split screen view and we'll go ahead and select YouTube. So now as you can see, YouTube is running at the top here and messages is running at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and enable the 90 to 10 split ratio. So we'll go ahead and place it like this. So now you can go ahead and play your video here. And when someone messages, you can go ahead and tap on the bottom here and you can go ahead and write your message. Then you can go ahead and switch over to YouTube and continue playing your video as normal. So this is better for focus, faster multitasking, and this is ideal for work, study, and entertainment. So if you regularly run YouTube and messages at the same time, you can go ahead and set a shortcut for it to open in the future together. So here, if I go ahead and tap on this middle bar, you'll see the star icon if you tap on this. Now you can go ahead and add a pair to your home screen or your app's edge panel. We'll go ahead and add it to our home screen. We'll tap home, and now we'll go ahead and see that. So this is the icon which it's created, YouTube and message. So now in the future, if I close everything, and I wanna go ahead and run YouTube and message together, you can go ahead and tap on the shortcut, and this will open up that pair together. So your phone becomes a productivity machine on your Samsung Galaxy device. Now, feature number three is where you can create stickers or PNG images from online photos. So you see a funny image online and you want to turn it into a sticker or a meme. Normally, you download an app, watch the ads and deal with watermarks. But with Samsung, you can just press and hold the object and it gets cut instantly. No background apps, no apps required, just AI Smart Select. So now once you do this, you get a sticker ready for your WhatsApp or Instagram. So Samsung lets you extract objects from images and turn them into stickers or PNG image. So here, as an example, I've opened up Pinterest app and we'll just go ahead and browse through these and find something to create a sticker out of. So say for example, this picture here. I wanna go ahead and create a sticker out of this, only this model here. So we'll go ahead and open up the edge panel, open up AI select, 
We'll let it select the screen and now we'll go ahead and hold the model itself. So now as you can see, it has selected the model only. We can go ahead and tap on download to download this as a PNG file, or we can go ahead and save as a sticker to use in WhatsApp or messages. So like this, you can go ahead and choose other images as well. So say for example, this one here, we'll go ahead and do AI select. Now we'll go ahead and hold it. And as you can see, it has selected the person. Now we'll go ahead and tap on save as sticker. This will save it as a sticker and then press done. And we have a sticker ready. So no third party apps required. It's instant background removal. Perfect. Now feature number four is where you can manage multiple apps with a pop-up view. So you're replying to emails, a message pops up and you want to check something quickly without closing anything. So instead of switching apps, you open a floating window. So you resize it, move it and keep working. So it feels like a laptop on a phone. So pop-up view allows apps to run in a resizable floating window. So here's an example. Let's go ahead and open up Gmail. We'll go ahead and create a new email here. So let's just say I'm going ahead and typing this email here. But now in the background, I get a message on WhatsApp. As you can see, it appears right here at the top. I can go ahead and select that. And then I can go ahead and open in pop-up view. So now I can continue writing this message and I can go ahead and reply to this message as well. Go back to my email and then continue with my email. Now let's say I wanna go ahead and focus on my email here. So I can go ahead and tap on this and I can go ahead and minimize this. So as you can see, this has minimized into icon here as a bubble. I can go ahead and leave it there and then go ahead and continue my emails. Now let's say for example, I wanna go ahead and maybe open up Google Chrome. So I'll press home. I'll go ahead and open Google Chrome. However, I wanna go ahead and open this in pop-up view. So I can go ahead and tap on the task viewer here, tap on Chrome and open in pop-up view. So now this has opened in pop-up view. I'll just go ahead and resize this. I'll go back to my email. I'll continue writing my email. And over here in Google Chrome, I'll go ahead and do my research. Now let's say I've done my research on my Google Chrome. I can go ahead and minimize this. So as you can see, it's basically grouped with WhatsApp. Now let's go ahead and open up Amazon Shopping. Now again, I'll go ahead and open this in pop-up view. Now I'll go back to my email, continue my email, and also I can do my Amazon Shopping on the side here. Now again, I'm done with that, so I'll minimize this. So now as you can see, that has grouped with Google Chrome and WhatsApp. So now let's say I wanna go back to WhatsApp, so I can go ahead and tap on that icon there. I can go ahead and select whatever apps I want. So WhatsApp, I can go ahead and select Chrome as well, and I can go ahead and select Amazon Shopping. If I wanna go ahead and minimize all of these, go ahead and minimize them by tapping on the minus icon here to minimize. I can go ahead and open all of them all together. So this is basically a true multitasking experience on your Samsung Galaxy device. You have faster workflow, desktop-like experience on your phone itself. So your phone becomes a tablet. So once you master this, if you go back to normal phones, they'll feel very limited. Now, feature number five is your free Samsung cloud backup for Samsung Galaxy users. So your phone gets lost or damaged or upgraded. Normally, panic sets in. Photos, contact settings, all gone. But Samsung users, you can go ahead and back up your data free of charge. And if you go ahead and lose your phone, damage your phone, or get stolen, you can go ahead and buy a new one and go ahead and restore all that backed up data. So you simply log in, restore, and everything comes back. So your phone feels exactly the same as before. So Samsung Cloud lets you back up important data completely free of charge. So let me show you where you can find this. So here you wanna go ahead and tap on settings. Now from here, go ahead and scroll down and find accounts and backup. Then find Samsung Cloud and underneath find backup data. Now you can go ahead and choose what you wanna back up. So I'll go ahead and back up everything. And then I'll tap on backup now. I would suggest that you be on Wi-Fi as the speed is great on that instead of using your mobile data. So this way you have peace of mind, easy phone switching and no extra apps required. So your data stays protected always. Now feature number six is your lock and unlock sound effects. So you lock your phone, you unlock it. So this is like a satisfying sound 
Subtle but premium. So let me just show you. So I'll lock it and unlock it. So it's a small detail but makes your phone feel more responsive and alive. Sometimes it's just little things that matter. So Samsung lets you enable sound feedback for locking and unlocking device. So let me show you where you can find this information. So go ahead and tap on settings, scroll down and find sounds and vibration. Now here you want to go ahead and find system sound. Here you want to go ahead and find your screen lock and unlock. Make sure this is turned on. Now once that's done, you want to go ahead and press home. And now here you want to go ahead and bring out your volume control, tap on the three dots. And here you need to go ahead and make sure system sound is always turned on to hear the unlock and lock sound. So this is the spanner icon here. It's right at the left hand side. So make sure this is all the way to the top and then you'll be able to hear the lock and the unlock sound. So you get better interaction feedback. It's a customizable experience. You have a classic premium feel. So it's simple, clean, and it's enjoyable. Now, feature number seven is a new black 3D icon pack on your Samsung Galaxy device. So you unlock your phone and it looks completely different. You have deep black icons, 3D depth, a sleek, futuristic aesthetic. So people ask, what phone is this? And you smile, thinking in your mind that this is just an icon pack. So Samsung's black 3D icon pack transforms your entire home screen like this on your Samsung Galaxy device. So let me show you how you can install this. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up your Play Store. In your Play Store, you want to go ahead and search for an app called Icon Pack Studio. So this is the app you require. Go ahead and download this app and then go ahead and open this. So now here you want to go ahead and search for the following Icon Pack. I've left it on the screen and in the description down below. So I'll just go ahead and type this out. So this is what you need to type. Claudie Coley Knight. Now you can go ahead and choose all the different night versions. Now, once you find it, go ahead and tap on this, then tap on download. This will then be added to your collection. Go ahead and tap on this, then tap on apply, press OK, press OK again. Let that download. Go ahead and press OK. Go ahead and open my files and then go ahead and extract it. We'll update it. We'll go ahead and install this. And now that has been installed, so press done. Now we'll go ahead and open up Theme Park. Now in Theme Park, go ahead and open up Icons, then tap on Create New, then tap on Icons again, and then tap on Icon Pack. And here you'll have the exported Icon Pack, which is right here. Tap on it. And this will load that Night Icon Pack onto your Samsung Galaxy device. Go ahead and save this. I'll go ahead and give this a name. Go ahead and apply it. And now your icon pack has been applied. So you get a premium visual style on your Samsung Galaxy device. It's AMO LED battery friendly, and it makes your phone feel brand new. So the looks matter and Samsung delivers it all the time. So please do me a favor. If you learned even one new thing, smash that like button. Let's reach 300 likes on this video. Share this video with friends, family, Samsung users, group chats, and all the social media platforms which you can think of. The more you share, the more YouTube pushes this video out. And don't forget to subscribe for more Samsung tips, hidden features, and phone tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.